Hello everyone, my name is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. Your industrial automation service center drives motors, controls. We've done it all for over 30 years. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call. Today we're continuing in our series for the SVX 9000 drive from Eaton, and we're going to be covering how to use push buttons to start our drive instead of selector switches. Now in the previous video, we used a basic macro that was built into the drive. In this one, we're going to actually have to modify a macro because there is no macro for push buttons, believe it or not, for the Eaton drive. So let's go ahead and get it programmed and wired and then get it started. Okay, so what I did in the manual was I modified the standard application macro, which we will actually set up here after we've done our wiring. And I've modified it so that I have a normally open push button that goes between terminal six and terminal eight. And that's for my start forward, which will be programmed for pulse. And then I wired a normally closed push button, which is my stop button going from terminal six to nine, which will be stop pulse. And then finally for my digital input three, which is terminal six to terminal 10, I actually wired a reverse selector switch so that I could still do forward and reverse. Now, if you guys don't need reverse, you can just leave that whole part out. Uh, that's really up to you. So let me go ahead and show you what it'll look like actually being programmed. So I'm gonna pull off the terminal block hold it up here and here's my wiring and now my terminal six is my plus 24 volts this goes to the common on both of my push buttons and on my selector switch the voltage flows out to that to my first push button which is my start which is normally open so when i press that start button voltage will flow from six to eight after that i wired six again to the common of my normally closed my stop button and my stop button, which is normally closed, voltage will always be flowing between six and nine. And then when I press the stop button, it'll actually stop the flow. And that's just how stop buttons are always wired. You always wanna wire them as being normally closed in case a wire falls out. So essentially when I press the stop button, it's gonna stop a connection between six and nine. And then finally, I have my wire six wired to my selector switch common. And on the other side of the selector switch, if I close the switch, it'll actually allow voltage to flow from six to 10, which will tell the drive to go in reverse. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there and we're gonna apply power. And then we're gonna actually have to program our standard macro so that it supports this new wiring diagram. So upon first boot, it's asking me if I wanna copy parameters. Right now I'm gonna tell it no. And then right now I'm in remote control, so I'm gonna press local remote it's gonna say select local, press enter. So I'm gonna go back to local. This is so I can program it. I'm gonna use my arrow keys to get to the programming screen. It says programming, press enter. So I'm gonna press enter to go to programming. And we're looking for parameters G1 through G9. Now, if I pull out my manual again, let me show you which parameters we're gonna be modifying here. We're gonna be modifying parameters 1.2.1 and 1.2.2. These particular parameters are our start stop logic and our digital input three function, which is gonna be our reverse. We're gonna be setting that to reverse here, which is uh, number six. Now before it will let me actually change these parameters, if you recall in our previous video, we're actually on the generic or the basic application. The basic application will not let you change these parameters. So the very first thing we need to do is to go down to system, system menu, press the right arrow key, and we're gonna change our macro to the standard macro. So let me scroll down through these until I find application. Right now, yours will say basic. If you press enter, I'm sorry, press the right arrow key, I can now fluctuate through different applications. I'm gonna to go to standard and I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna reset the drive. Now, what's that, what that's doing is it's switching this basic application macro over to our standard application macro. And now I'm actually gonna program it for my proper selector switch, I mean my proper push button settings. So let me go back to our parameters. So I'm gonna go back over to programming, press enter. Again, I said parameter G1 through G9. 
we're going to this particular section here. Parameter 1.2.1 is our first. So I'm going to press right. And up here in this corner, you may or may not see it in this video, but it says G1.2. And that's where we want to be. We want to go to 1.2.1 first. So it's input signals. I'm going to press right again. And here's 1.2.1. I'm going to press right again. And this is where I can actually adjust how my drive starts and stops. By default, it's just standard start and stop, which means you have to have a selector switch. But what we're looking for is on the right here is start, stop, pulse, which means a momentary flow of voltage is what's going to start and stop it. So let me go up through here. Start, pulse, stop, pulse. And I'm going to press enter. And so 1.2.1 is done. Now I'm going to go to 1.2.2, which is our digital input three. I'm going to press right again, and I'm going to scroll up through these until I find my reverse function, which is right here. And I'm going to press enter. And that is it for programming. I've set up both my digital inputs for start and stop, my first two digital inputs, and then I also set up my third digital input for my forward reverse on the selector switch. So let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so now that we're running and I've got it programmed, I've got it in operation mode. Right now I'm still in local, so I need to switch from local back to remote, otherwise it's not going to look at my push button station. In local it only looks at the keypad. So I'm going to press local remote, and I'm going to press enter, which will switch to look at my terminal strip. Now here's my start button. If I press it, you'll notice that it starts, which is good. Now stop is my normally closed, so when I press this, it breaks that connection so that it no longer will be running, so it stops. Now if I start it and flip on my selector switch, it'll slow down and automatically go into reverse. Now this will keep running until this stop is broke. So in other words, until it drops out from that input because it's normally closed, or until I press the stop button. And that's all there is to this video. I know it's kind of involved on the SVX9000 because out of the box they don't ship with a macro for push buttons. So we have to go in there and manually set it up to be able to read these push buttons the way a normal person would wire it up. Again, if you have any questions, we repair, we sell SVX9000s, we get a good amount of them in here every single week. So don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, my name is Craig Chamberlain at PrecisionElectric.com. I'm sorry, Precision-Elect.com. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.